Good morning, everyone. I'm coming on now with a quick tutorial on how I made the post-it note holders. So this is uh, that I showed it, um, just before Christmas. What I had been what I had been making. So these little post-it hold note holders. Somebody asked me if I would do a tutorial. So I'm just going to quickly show you how I worked out the measurements, etc. So. Obviously, the first thing you do is you measure the piece of thing of uh, the pad, so it's just under three inches by just under three inches. So I cut a strip of paper that was three inches wide, okay. And then to work out the um, the measurements this way and where I need to put the scores, um, I measured the side, and the side is half an inch. So I worked out on a piece of paper, this is my diagram, so this is the three inch square and I've added on half an inch on both sides to make the uh, the bit that stands up on the, to cover it. And then of course the top bit needs to be three inches plus a little bit so that you've got a bit of an overlap so that that can, can tuck in and, uh, and stay secure. Now you don't have to do it that way. You could just leave it like this and have this piece three inches. So it just this just flaps up and you can do it that way as well. But I wanted to make mine so that they they look they closed. <laughs> so so basically what I need is a piece of of card that's three inches wide and then I've I've gone for one and a half and two, so that's three and a half inches. So three and a half plus the three in, uh, for the for the actual um, book. So that's six, uh, six, three and a half plus three is six and a half, plus a half is seven, plus a half is seven and a half. So seven and a half inches by three. So this is what I've come up with. And then in, I need to score it at one and a half, a half um, one and a half, two, five, and five and a half. So that's at one and a half, plus a half is two, plus three is five, plus a half is five and a half. And that gives me the base for my book. So I've got my um, post-it note pad here. So all I do is stick this in the into here, lining it up more or less with the score line uh, on either side so then you see that folds over nicely and gives me my little book i'm going to round the corners of the flap um no, i haven't decided which way i think i'm going to have this as the flap the flap that flaps that tucks in so i'm just going to round the corners of that I personally think that that looks better. Now, I've got this um, sentiment which says bloom, which I think is quite nice. Now, it needs to be raised up a little bit so that this can tuck under. Uh, and I need to see where I have to position it. So if I position it like this, it can tuck into this little bit of the bloom. Um, and in fact, maybe I don't need to, if I just, yeah, I think what I'll do is I'm not going to raise it anymore because this is actually on foam. So I'm just going to stick it down, but leave that, that bit that's sticking up um, without any glue on. So, so I'm going to stick that down like that. And hopefully that will hold it in place. Maybe I need to stick up a weeny bit. Oops. A weeny bit more, a weeny bit higher. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's it. So, so that will hold that like that now. But you could put um, a sentiment on a on some foam pads, or you could do as I did the last time and use wax seals and just. Um, put them halfway or whatever you want now i've got these cute little bits of uh, applique which i thought would go perfectly on here just um 
just in the two corners so that's what I'm going to do I'm going to stick these down here and um, and then that's the little booklet finished so uh, it is really very easy to do it's very you know it's um there's nothing difficult about it um and i think they look really pretty and your this isn't closing very well now yes still need to bring it up a little bit i think um and and I might need to use double-sided sellotape as well because the glue seems to be um, soaking into the foam <laughs> and not as I would like it to do. So, but anyway, I'll leave it there to, to um, I leave it there to oops, to um, dry without trying to put that in there. So so there we are. So basically, that's my little booklet uh, with a post-it note. You open it up. And there are your post-it notes there, all ready to use. So thank you all for watching and um, take care and I'll see you all again in my next video. Bye for now.